Good, good afternoon, Christopher. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, and I'm very glad to see you again. And we have not seen each other maybe since long time COVID, ago. Yeah? Yeah, since, since COVID, yeah, since COVID or something like yes. that. But uh, you are still very healthy, very <laughs> strong. Even Thank though you. So you the same, you, uh, yeah. same with you. Yeah, yeah. So today, uh, I would like to interview you on human development or maybe on motivational training yes. that you did uh, around 30 years ago and you came here exactly, specifically 27 years ago, you came to Cambodia? Yes, but I s only three years of that I spent in Indonesia during tsunami, but I'm always come back to Cambodia again. Yeah, so what I have learned is that uh, you have taught many, many Cambodian people since 70, 70, uh, 27 uh, years in Cambodia, yes. especially human development. Yes. So what is the importance of uh, human development? So it means uh, 30 years ago, uh, Cambodian people learn or study only uh, technique or something, just to tell me a little bit. Yes, uh, when I first came here, what I noticed is almost everyone, even university, teach about uh, technical skill, including management. Like I said, manage, managing Man is about managing things, like money and vehicle and office, you manage that. But leadership is about empowering people. So that was the missing part. When I came here, I, I, I see most people spin technical scale which is very necessary but if Cambodia would like to grow it need leadership training so that I focus only on leadership so since 1999 uh, until now uh, we focus on developing leadership for the future so why why um, uh, I mean uh, leadership is uh, more important than management I mean managing people so and why techniques are not so important I, I mean so important and also but why why leadership is uh, yeah. more important than other skills I don't believe uh, it is more or less important we need both but if one is missing for example if you have leaders you know, your leadership I can lead people but the people that uh, that we lead could, don't have technical skill, it doesn't work, right? Yeah. So if you have management skill and then uh, technical skill, but you don't have leadership skill, you cannot grow. Okay. Right? Yeah. So you need both. So it's 30 years important. ago, Cambodian had only uh, technical skills such as management, accountant, yeah. or maybe other technical yes. skill, technical yeah. skill. Which is which is very necessary during that time because Cambodia is just emerging, so they need a lot of technical skill. But uh, in my thinking, if Cambodia would like to grow to be to the into the future, it needs leadership skill. Yeah, leadership. The role of leaders is to empower people. So management, one plus one equal to two. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Leadership one plus one become eleven. Why? Because it's empower the people. Uh, when people are on power, they try to do better than, than they believe they can. So at that time, you taught only uh, leadership, not management, or maybe you taught both? No, I, don't, I, I never taught management, only leadership. Uh, I first came to Cambodia with the Australian uh, project, right? And then after that, I moved, uh, I worked for the UN, UNDP, as a planning advisor. But then after that, uh, in 1999, I stopped working for the UNDP and then uh, I do my own training, which is uh, leadership. My thinking is like this. If I work for a project, it doesn't matter how big the project is. Yes. The beneficiaries is only limited, right? Yep. They have a target, yes. probably target yeah. community and so on. I want to do more than that. So if I do independent, I can train as many people as I like. So how many, how many people have uh, you trained since uh, yeah. 27 years or 30 years, I let's say? I stopped counting when we reached about 250,000. 50, 250,000. Uh, yeah, 250,000. So oh, a lot. I stopped counting. <laughs> Why? But <laughs> too many. <laughs> too many. <laughs> I just continue. And then now that I stopped counting probably in about 2010 or something like that. And then just continue. Uh, people say, how? How can you do it so quick? But sometimes, like when I do training for the uh, uh, Police Academy of Cambodia, 
I train a thousand people at one time. So that's how, how we can develop many, many uh, a large number. Right? So 27 uh, later, so have you seen your result now? Yes, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to say that uh, many, many of my uh, colleagues, you know, um, or the people who attended my training many years ago, they become uh, not only financially successful, but they become, uh, some of them work for the government, you know, in the high position. Some of them work with the World Bank. Some of them work with the uh, UNICEF and, uh, and, and uh, Asian Development Bank at the high level, right? That was my young, my young <laughs> friend student, before, yeah. Yeah, fr yeah friend yeah. or yeah, student. I don't call student, we call it VIP. You know, it's very, very important. important person because we are here for them, right? That's that's the way I, my thinking is, they are, I'm not the one here, they are over here. They are my boss. They are, they are the one that, you know, the, the one that I serve. So you have taught, I mean, you taught uh, leadership. Uh, so what, what are the key of lesson that you taught them? I mean, uh, a key point of a leadership uh, lesson. The main, the most important thing uh, I tell people about leadership is leaders is not somebody who talk, sit on the top, you know, everybody pay respect. Leaders are those who serve. If you cannot serve people, you have to control them by force. But if you can serve them, they will be willing to follow you, right? So number one is leaders are the people who, leaders is someone who serve. And to do that, you have to love the people. You cannot be a good leader if you don't love the people, right? Like for example, Pol Pot. Pol Pot want to develop Cambodia. Number one, he want to develop, but he want to do it without love. He want to do it without empowering people. It doesn't work like that, you know? So less than four years, he collapsed. So what what the difference between manager and leader, for example? Okay. Uh, I often ask this question. It's like I said, we need both, right? Yep. So leaders, uh, manage, managers make the organization efficient, right? Leaders make the organization effective and sustainable, right? So that's why many, many projects, you know, many projects even now, they teach technical skills so people can can produce better rice, for example. But when the project ends, it collapses. No, not sustainable because there's no leadership there. We don't build leaders <laughs> among the farmers, you yeah. know. So what I try to do is I develop leaders everywhere because people misunderstood about leadership. They think leaders is, you know, somebody who wear ties and coat. No. Leaders is anybody who make other people successful. Father and mother are leaders, right? Teachers in the school are leaders. Even among little friends, if, if, if one, one child, one student try to make everybody behave better, you know? And I've seen this among uh, motor dop driver, when one, one motor dop try to make everybody behave properly, serve the customer, they are leaders. Of course, they are managers. Yeah, they are religious leaders like monks. And I believe policemen is leaders. Why? Because they help other people to become successful, make, make the traffic move properly. So anyone. Can, can be a leader. It should be a leader. Okay. You see? Manager, you have to be appointed. Somebody has said, okay, you are a manager in my organization. But anybody must be a leader. That's our job. Right? But that's why not many people understand about leadership. That's why I spend so much time to help people to develop their leadership skill. So to be a good leader, you have to be a good communicator. Yeah? You have to be a good uh, facilitator to make things happen. You have to be a good, uh, uh, you have to be a good conflict manager. So because if a leader cannot manage conflict, it's not very <laughs> useful, right? Yeah, yeah. But a leader must also lead people by creating a, a vision of the future the vision the mission you know what you what let let's see what this organization or this nation will look like in the future that's what the role the most important role of a leader 
is to give direction for people to follow. And to do that properly, the leader cannot do it by themselves. They bring all the people together. So they, they need to communicate properly. They need to facilitate properly. And then when people work together, they always have conflict, right? <laughs> so if there is conflict anywhere in the nation, in the family or in the organization, that will not grow. So the leader must uh, be able to resolve conflict, manage and resolve. But the, the last one, a role of a leader is to, uh, to empower people. And we talk a lot about empowering, empowering, empowerment, but usually people don't fully understand what it means. My thinking about empowerment, they have three things. One is to empower people, you have to motivate them. Because too many times you train people, but they don't do, right? Yeah, because they don't have uh, motivation. <laughs> motivation. Yeah. So one of the most important role of a leader is to motivate, to make them believe they can do it, right? Through your theory yeah. as a leader. Yeah. yeah. So uh, number two is uh, to develop the capacity. So people talk a lot about capacity building, right? When you ask them, what is capacity building? They said, oh, training. No. Capacity more than training. Like, let me show you. This is a bottle of water, right? It have the capacity of 500 milliliter. Okay. This bottle of water you cannot build, you cannot strengthen. It's 500 milliliter, right? That's the way it is. So you and I have capacity. Full. You cannot build. You cannot okay. strengthen. What you can do is to transform, to transform this 500 milliliter into power. And if I can transform this into a nuclear material, it can run electricity for many years. Okay. Just this, yeah? Or you can just make you not thirsty, or you can grow a flower for two or three days. So it's different power. So a leader is make a leader is someone who transforms the capacity of the people into power. Okay. And the power to do good. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And that is what leadership is about. Okay. And the third one is capability. Now that is technical skill. So 20 seven years later and then you have seen your your former VIP student yes. uh, become uh, leaders of yes. the country and then so are you proud of your training in the past? I, I cannot say I'm training like like uh, like I said to, to many of my VIP they become they become successful because of themselves. I'm just happen to be there at the right time and the right place, right? It's so, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's an oil lamp without the oil. Doesn't matter what you do, you can light the match. It will die out very quickly. I said, you have capacity inside you already. All of us are born to be successful. None of us are born to be a failure. God do not create failure, right? Yeah. So. So technical training, uh, technical skill, and then uh, leadership skill are very important. I very mean, they go along with each other. The, 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 the mistake most people think, do is they, they try to do the technical skill first, right? And then sometimes if they have time, if they have a bit of money left over, they do the, the, the capacity, the, yeah. the, you know, leadership and... Uh, Management or yeah, something. The leadership, uh, people skill training so uh, but Good. that is not right okay what we need to do is to build the, the leadership skill first the, the mindset okay see m most people mistake misunderstood about mindset mindset is how you see things you know like the Lord Buddha give us eightfold path to happiness and success right the number one is the right perception, how the right way of seeing things. If you see everything wrong, the result will be wrong. <laughs> your speech will be wrong, your action will be wrong. That's why mindset is about the right way of seeing things continually. Yeah? So not just sometime, but all the time. For example, just give a little example. 
how people see work. Okay, there are three ways of seeing work. One group of people see work as inconvenience. So if you see work as inconvenient, what you do? You do as little as possible. Yeah, you 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 can't do anything. Yeah, yeah. you escape. are lazy to do things. Yeah. Escape as much as yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the result is failure, right? The second group of people see work as a duty. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a father. That's my job, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm working for uh, for my children. For this organization, that's mm -hmm. that I got paid to do that. Yeah. So the result, you do enough. Mm -hmm. You do enough. No more. Mm -hmm. If the boss said, "Can you work on Saturday?" Say, so, "Okay, boss. Where is yeah. the overtime?" Okay. <laughs> okay. So the result is good enough. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Most people do like this. Yeah. But there are a small group of people that work because of love. Mm -hmm. This is like the venerable Chunat. Mm -hmm. Doesn't count the time. Mm -hmm. That work is needed. So a good parent, good teacher, good manager, good leader are this one. They they do it because they love. Or maybe they enjoy with works. Yeah, yeah. I mean they, they love their work. Yeah, but they, they also love sometimes their work. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they don't really need to love the work, but they love the children. Yeah. 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 So uh, so. That is the highest level, and the result is always excellent. So you see what I mean? Yeah, the right yeah. perception. If yeah, you right see it wrongly, yeah, yeah. if you see work as a just inconvenient, you you fail. Mm -hmm. so, so it is very important. Yeah, you know, like for us to be able to see everything clearly. That's the right mindset. You know, when you make concrete, after you put the water, it will set, right? Yeah. The mind is not like that, not like concrete. We can reset. <laughs> okay, reset. So what I try to do yeah. is not to change people's mindset, but to mm -hmm. reset it. So uh, I I would like to go. I mean to go to another topic. Sure. Uh, you always said that the life now is a very complicated. I yes. mean, uh, in the world or something, yes. and then. Uh, uh, how how to simplify the complexity of life? Yeah. So, if a life is a very complicated now, most people find life is very complicated because there are many parts of life. You know, family life, work life, health. You know, uh, love. Yeah, love, relationship, marriage. So all these things make life very complicated because they think that if I, sometimes people are successful making money, right? Yeah. But their family falling apart. Mm -hmm. Sometimes make a lot of money, but the health is falling <laughs> yes. apart, yeah. right? Yeah. It is because they don't understand. There is only one. There is only one concept of success, right? So, and if you know this concept of success, then life becomes very simple because every every part of our life is the same. I think it was Albert Einstein who said, "Genius is someone who make." Complicated, simple. By, by. The opposite, idiot is someone who make simple uh, thing complicated. Uh, com complicated. <laughs> I happen to be uh, a belief in God, right? Yeah. And God is the supreme intelligence, right? Mm -hmm. He created the whole universe. Yes. So it must be the most intelligent. So he cannot make everything complicated. So life, it must be simple. So, so how how to make it yes. a simple? So so in operacy, what, what is your yes a in theory? My book, in operacy, yeah. you know uh, the first book in yeah actually the second book I wrote is operacy. In operacy, we talk about modeling the universe. You know we have if you want to be successful, we have to model the universe itself, because the universe is the most sustainable, the most successful system that we know. Don't copy other people because if you copy other people, human are not perfect, right? Sometimes it look good for a short time and then they <laughs> fail. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So in operacy, we said model the universe, and the universe is created and sustained by five principles. And this five principle is encapsulate in one law. I call this the law of universal governance. It governs everything from the tiniest atom to the greatest stars is governed by this law. Nothing escape this law. You and I must obey this law because, like they said, we are the child of the universe. Yeah, so we are the universe. You and I, okay. and the trees, 
and everything is part of the universe and must obey the law of the universe okay so in order to be successful father and mother to be successful by the way you, you don't find this in university you can yeah. teach about management you study management you still study leadership you don't find this uh, i just happened i don't discover it people say oh did you discover it no it discovered me yeah it that law created me yeah you know it just happened to uh, to develop kind of some kind of an awareness not finished yet i'm still learning okay so don't think that i know everything <laughs> about this no. i'm still learning no. so there are five principles inside that law number one is the principle of change you the boot the lord buddha said nothing stay permanent okay yep everything change change so we grow up we go yeah, old okay. right and then uh number two is differentiation as we yeah. change we become different different yep now before there's only one kind of tree now there's hundreds of thousand different yeah, trees yeah. flowers yeah. yeah and 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 even in the family two children uh, yeah. three four uh, they're all different yeah right yeah. so uh the, in our body our our part is all different yeah if our part all the same like no shear no shear no shear we die no no we, uh, there's no meaning no meaning die <laughs> yeah yeah right? mm -hmm. so that's the problem with uh, what pol pot tried to do pol pot want to make everything the same, the same yeah. farmers N yeah yeah cannot they, ca they cannot do it that, break yeah. the natural law yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. of differentiation yeah. so the third principle the third principle of unity that all the different thing of my nose my heart my brain yeah. my have to work together as one yeah. otherwise i die <laughs> yeah so this have to be maintained okay so that goes number four yeah number four is self-regulation mm. so my heart have to regulate yeah. you know my brain self-discipline or something yeah, yeah. that's oh. self-discipline okay. self it oh, comes self from the inside yeah. right yeah so even a country like cambodia have to have ministry of interior yeah from the inside <laughs> not the un yeah, yeah. Cambodia, yeah, yeah. Cambodia develop itself, itself, itself yeah, yeah regulate right? and the fifth principle the fifth principle is if you can do number one two three and four you can expand yeah you can becoming more yeah like right? in in business it is like like uh, franchising yeah but you have to be able to do this four first yeah <laughs> in terms of you and I and three is having more more children yeah develop seed because yeah. if you cannot do that no more human after 100 years Okay. So it's expansion. Then it return back to earth. Okay. So that's the five principle. If you in any part of our life, whether it's in business, family, marriage, family, it have to fit into this five natural law. Okay. Thank you, uh, Professor. And I, I, I go to another topic. Uh, you maybe you are writing a book, a new book or something, yes. and your your new book is coming out uh, very soon and training also. Yes. Just what is it about your new book? Well. Uh, the one is not new I'm, I'm uh, making second edition of my first book which is operacy okay uh, that should be uh, available the end of the year the okay. second one is simplifying the complexity of life okay try okay. to help people <laughs> okay you know, that say life don't, is don't, not don't, yeah don't make life complicated, complicated. Yeah, okay. it's not so complicated <laughs> it's very easy the other thing is this the most important thing is not only you can be successful in every part like your health yeah your your children your marriage yeah but if there is a problem say in your marriage or problem yeah. in your branch uh, okay your, you can look at the five principles which one is not uh, fulfilled okay very quickly you know where is the problem okay right okay thank you and your training your nature training uh, what is it about well i would try to do the first training on simplifying the complexity of okay. life okay and also uh, super mom super dad and okay. all based on this five principles Okay. And operacy also based on the fact. Just the last uh, question for you. You are around 78 or something, yes. 88, but you are very strong. You are still very strong, healthy. So what is your secret? <laughs> I have two secrets. One I cannot tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the other one is work with young people. Always have meaning in life. Always have a purpose. You know? Don't stop working. Don't retire. So, but why you work with the young people? Because young people give me energy. They were so vibrant, you know, they're so full of energy. It rubbed off in me, you know. 
I got carried away with them. But they don't have uh, a lot of experience, so you work with the uh, old people, they do have... I do, but it is the young people that motivate me, that make me excited to be alive. You know? Long life, another thing is relationship. If you want to have a good, long, happy life, good, have a good relationship with people. I mean with friends, with friend, uh, relatives... Yeah, but especially with, uh, with yeah. your family, you know? But uh, it doesn't have to be a family if you don't have a family, close family. Okay. Make friends and uh, okay. share your... Inf oh, expansion is number five, right? Okay. Share your knowledge with the young people. Okay. That's very, very good. Because this is not, mm -hmm. not a theory. This is principle, the law. Yeah. Okay. The law. So the last, very last question to you. So you, you are what? You are Australian or Indonesian or Cambodian? Because you, you have lived here for I, 30 years. I think I'm all three. <laughs> I was born in Indonesia. Okay. Yeah, and you uh, study in Australia. Yeah, I study and, and then become a citizen of Australia. And then I tell young people, you know, I'm more Cambodian than you. You're only 17. I've been here 27 years. 27 years. So you are Cambodian or <laughs> yeah, Australian? I'm, I'm both. Okay, okay. But you don't have uh, a Cambodian nationality? Not nationality. yet. Okay, not, not yet. yet. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I love to be here because the young people, young Cambodian is so hungry for knowledge, you know. I have questions every day from Cambodian who live in Canada, Cambodian who live mm. in New Zealand, they contact me sometime four o'clock in the morning because over there is the afternoon yeah uh, so the maybe morning. you will end your day here one day you don't know yet i don't know yet <laughs> okay thank you professor christopher for your time for your knowledge sharing uh, to Cambodian yeah. uh, uh, people thank you so much sir. thank you thank you thank you so thank you, much sir. okay